How to start a streetwear brand, part one. Name doesn't matter that much. People have used names like Buy Asshole, Pizza Slime. If they can do it, so can you. There's a ton of other brands such as Apple or even brands that use their own name such as Alexander Wang or Alexander McQueen. Choose a name that won't get in the way of your product and the people buying it. Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, the platforms you should absolutely be on. There are also the video platforms, YouTube, Twitch, TikTok. These three are currently underrated forms and not used as often as the first three because it requires a bit more effort, but it makes a crucial difference to your success. Instagram, photo primary platform, great for showing your products. Almost everyone has Instagram and it's required for the success of your brand in my opinion. It's very radical recently with the changes to the app as well as people complaining about the algorithm over the years, but overall it's still number one. Key growth feature, users resharing posts to their story. Twitter, text primary platform, great for posting updates or sharing information. Key growth feature, there's decent chance of virality with the retweet function. Facebook, basically required due to Facebook owning Instagram. You need to connect a Facebook page to your brand's Instagram if you want to make it a business account. You also use it when you want to run ads. Since this is required, it doesn't hurt to also post on your brand's Facebook page. YouTube, video primary platform, great for personal branding, behind the scenes type content, and gaining a deeper relationship with your followers as content usually involves showing your face and displaying your personality. Key growth feature, number one platform for virality. YouTube's homepage, recommended video suggestions, and overall algorithm seems to be unrivaled in terms of discovery. If you upload enough videos, people will find you eventually, and if you upload consistently, those people will stay. TikTok, video primary platform, we were posting quick informational tutorials and making genuine TikToks where you cleverly include your clothing somewhere, newer than the rest of the mentioned platforms, considered a successor to Vine due to the short duration limit for content of one minute. Nowadays, if you see songs blowing up, a lot of the time its success is driven by this app. Trends and waves are being started because of it. Similarly to YouTube, if if you upload enough videos, people will find you eventually. Key growth feature, discovery and virality due to its for you page. Question, should it be on X social media platform? Yes, all of these apps are free and provide an opportunity for you to be discovered. It may seem like a lot, but lots of content you make can be cross-posted. So if I write up one post, I'm most likely putting that single post on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at the same time with minimal alteration. You should also aim to acquire as many of the accounts on these platforms as soon as you decide on your name. That way in the future, if you need these accounts, it won't be as hard obtaining. Question, how often should I post? There's a consensus that you should be posting every day, and I would agree for the average person wanting to grow their account that that is optimal. However, taking into the consideration that you are creating original and quality content in the form of design, you need to find the balance for you. You aren't some archive page that is reposting content, so output won't be as easy. But what you can do is find filler or content pertaining to your brand and post that in between quality and original content. Thank you so much for watching. Please let me know what else you'd like me to cover. I'll be doing more parts of how to start a your brand. I also stream and all of that, so check in the links below. Thank you. Thank you very much.